Smith with Madison County 4-H and today we are going to learn how to make a stomp rocket. Yes, a stomp rocket with a lot of things you probably have right around your house. First of all, you need to get you some kind of base. I just used a piece of 2 by 4 that I had laying around the house. Then I had something, got something, this is called a pipe holder uh, and I just use a drill to drill in so that it will actually hold the PVC pipe in place. So that's your base. Then you will need a one half inch, one half inch PVC that's about eh, two and a half, three feet long. And then you'll also need a piece that's about uh, 12 to 16 inches. And you need a little elbow, all right? So we will take our PVC and attach it through the elbow, like so, make sure it's tight. You don't have to glue it because you can just take it apart. Take your longer piece, put it in pretty tight, like so, all right? Next, <clears throat> you'll take your board, your base, and attach and I do this so that, um, I make it so that you can take it apart and store it, okay? So there we have, so far, that's what we have as our stomp rocket base, okay? That's our launcher. Um, the next part that you'll need is an old two liter bottle, okay? This is just an old liter, two liter bottle. It doesn't have any holes in it. I rinsed it out, um, let it drain to be dry. Take the lid off, don't need it for this project. Then you're going to insert the piece of PVC into the Coke bottle. Take your good old duct tape, and duct tape works the best, I've found. Um, Scotch tape, not so much. Uh, masking tape, not so much, but duct tape works well. So you may have some duct tape laying around. All right, so we'll take a piece of duct tape, and we're going to tape this bottle so that no air can get through that pipe. Tape it, go, make sure it's good and tight. All right, so now we have completed our launcher. Hmm, now we need to work on the rocket. So put that aside. For the rocket, it's pretty simple. You're gonna need a piece of construction paper, okay? Plain construction paper. You can get this at the dollar store for, guess what, a dollar! All right, we're gonna take our construction paper, we're gonna roll it to the size of this PVC pipe. And the best way to do that is just to roll it. Now you don't wanna make it so tight that you, um, you can't slide it off, but you want it to slide on and off. So we roll it up, take our little scotch tape, and we're going to tape it, All right? Now, this is important because you don't want any air to be able to, to uh, leak out of the sides because the air is what's gonna push or force this rocket into space. Okay, well maybe not space, but okay. So we're gonna put enough so that it is covered. The edges are covered like so. Now, we have a tube that will slide on and off. Now there's one problem. Rockets have a cap on the end of it. So you can be really fancy and make a really fancy cap, or you could just do simply fold it, okay? Then we're going to take some more tape, and we're going to tape it. Now this is the important part. You don't want any, if you blow through this like this, you should not feel any air coming out of the end. Now I felt some air, so I'm gonna take some more scotch tape 
And I'm going to take the end. Now you don't want to squish the rocket. You can squish the end, but not the uh, main part of the rocket. Okay. So let's try it again. Nope. Don't feel any now. So we have our rocket. We have our launcher. Now we have to go outside and do this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put this rocket right here on our launch pad. <clears throat> and we'll go outside. So the next part of our project is when we come outside and we actually launch the rocket. Now, what's gonna happen is there's air inside of the two liter bottle. <clears throat> and when I stomp it with one foot, that air is going to be forced through the pipe, out this pipe, and it's going to push this rocket off and launch it. So let's see. Let's see how it works. Okay? Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. And there it launched. Pretty good. Now, this is what happens when you stomp a two liter bottle. So we have to put air and inflate this back up. So simply what you do, you don't put your mouth on it, but you put your hands around and you blow air back in it. <laughs> and it's inflated back up for our next launch. Now you notice that our rocket didn't fly too well. Why is that? Well, need some some drag on it. Uh, so we're going to go back inside and we're going to attach some fins to the end of it. And let's see how it does then. Okay, we're back inside now and we're going to have to put some fins on our rocket. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut some triangles out and make us some fins for our rocket. We'll make red ones. <clears throat> okay. Cut a couple of those. And voila. And we have some fins. So what we'll do is we will take our triangular piece of construction paper, fold one side of it, okay? So it looks something like this. Take some scotch tape, good old scotch tape. We're gonna attach them to the bottom of our rocket. Okay. And you'll probably need to attach one side there and some tape to the other side. Like here, so there's one fin. And we'll do that again with the other um, fins. I've usually put just um, three on there because I never can um, get the exact. So there's two. And I'll do one more. Put a piece of tape on the folded side, like so. We'll attach that to the rocket. Take another piece of tape and attach here. Okay, so it looks like I may have some room to put a fourth one. Notice I didn't measure anything. Um, can, but for this purpose, we were just making it happen on our very first Wow Wednesday with Madison County 4-H. Okay, so now we have fins on our rocket. 
They're not perfect, okay? So let's see how this one flies. See if it, we'll do a comparison of that first attempt and the second attempt. Let's try it. Okay, so here we are with our second attempt at the Lonket, uh, the Lonket Roch. Like that, the rocket launch. Uh, we have added some uh, aerodynamical enhancements to our rocket and put some fins on it. Let's see how it flies now. <clears throat> All right, set up our rocket. Sure, here we go. We'll do our countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! So, there you go. I think the aerodynamically enhanced rocket with the fins went a lot better. All right, so remember that you have your long, uh, rocket launcher, and once that uh, good old Coca Cola bottle gets uh, squished, you got to reinflate it. <laughs> Diddy! And there it is ready to launch again. Now, this won't last long, so you better have a backup. So have a couple of backups. Um, you can make longer rockets, um, and you can uh, decorate your rockets. You can color them, you can decorate them, uh, send them to the moon. Whatever you do, just have fun with it. All right, so this is Miss Beth signing off, and we'll see you in the funny papers. Have a great day.